This video is sponsored by Storyblocks. Hi everyone, Tao here. Today we're taking a look at the LG Ergol Dual, which is basically an all-in-one bundle that includes two 27-inch displays paired with one of the most flexible dual monitor stands I've tested. What do I mean? Well, besides the typical side-by-side -side layout, the included stand also lets you set up the monitors in a variety of ways, including some more unconventional ones. The idea here is to give you more flexibility over your workspace to make life easier. Sort of like today's video sponsor, Storyblocks. Maybe I need a dope time lapse of my city. Gonna need some upbeat music too. Well, Storyblocks is a subscription service that offers access to millions of videos, audio, animated backgrounds, and so much more, giving creators like myself the tools to focus on creating more and spending less without sacrificing quality. With unlimited downloads, whether you're an influencer, freelancer, or a digital marketer, Storyblocks just flat out makes life easier. And of course, all their assets are royalty free, so you can use your downloaded content anywhere. Don't let anything stop you from telling your story. Visit storyblocks.com slash Tao. All right, so everything comes packaged in one big box, including the Ergo dual arm, a box full of cables, and the monitors. Putting the stand together was pretty straightforward. Everything kind of slides into place, and you'll have to use a few screws here and there, but nothing too crazy. It mounts to your desk via this clamp, and you tighten it by twisting the knob on the bottom. Okay, I totally freaked out when I snapped on the first monitor because I thought the whole thing was gonna fall over, but thankfully, it didn't. Once you snap on the second monitor, the whole thing sort of just bounces itself out. I'll get back to the monitors themselves, but the star of the show really is the Ergol dual stand and all the different ways you can rearrange the monitors. There's four main layouts that LG recommends. You've got the basic side-by-side. -side. You can go with a mixed landscape slash portrait layout. You can even do a dual portrait setup, or maybe you prefer a stacked monitor layout. That's all possible with the monitor arm, and that's pretty cool. In the marketing photos, LG also shows a bunch of other unique layouts that are possible, but there is a warning in the manual that says they don't really recommend it. So basically, do it at your own risk. I've never actually used a stacked monitor layout like this before. Um, turns out, I really like it. One thing that's slightly annoying about it though is that you actually have to remove the monitors, disassemble three different parts of the arm, flip them 90 degrees, and then reattach everything. It's actually quite a bit of work. I wish LG would have come up with a more elegant solution that, you know, didn't require taking anything apart. Something to consider if you plan on jumping from the stacks layout to another one all the time. On top of the customizable layouts, you've also got the typical monitor arm adjustments for better ergonomics. This thing can extend and retract about 21 centimeters. This is as far back as I can push the monitors. I kind of wish it would retract a little further, but it's honestly not too bad. In terms of height adjustment, it can go up and down about 15 centimeters. It goes high enough for me to comfortably open and close my 14 inch MacBook Pro underneath it. The entire thing can also swivel, tilt side to side, and because each monitor is mounted on its own, they can be tilted up or down individually as well. This thing is super versatile, highly customizable, and I appreciate that it doesn't squeak or make any noise when you move it around. With that being said, I have seen the clamp slide and shift slightly a few times on the table. I doubt it's going anywhere, but if you're constantly moving and adjusting your monitors, I'd probably recommend checking on the clamp itself every once in a while just to make sure it's still properly mounted. All right, back to the monitors. These are identical 27 inch, 1440p IPS displays with a 75 hertz refresh rate. I normally work off a 34 inch ultra wide and if you ask me which one I prefer, I think I'd lean more towards the ultra wide. It just looks cleaner to me. A prime example, twice the monitor means twice as many power cables and bricks that you need to manage. The ones that come with these monitors are pretty big too. A dual monitor setup does offer more flexibility though and can make multitasking a little bit easier because you've got two separate spaces to organize all your windows. It's all preference at the end of the day, so just go with what works for you. I do appreciate that LG included cable management in the stand itself to hide some of that messy cable clutter. And look, they even have a dedicated spot for you to store the multi-tool so you don't end up losing it. 
The dual displays here are perfectly fine. It's decently bright for office use at 350 nits, has solid viewing angles, and supports 99% of the sRGB color space. I've spent the past few weeks editing videos, surfing the web, doing some light gaming, and honestly, it's been solid. 4K would have been really nice for content creators like myself, but for basic office productivity, 1440p is more than good enough. What I don't like is that the monitors have absolutely no speakers built in, like none. It seems like such a weird thing to leave out. Even if the speakers are really crappy, I would personally would rather have them, but I guess LG figures most people going for a setup like this will likely have their own speakers. On the bottom of each monitor is a physical button slash joystick that is used to turn the monitor on or off and for navigating the menu system. It's pretty straightforward and easy to use, so that's good. On the back, you've got pretty good connectivity, including USB-C, HDMI, and dual display ports for daisy chaining. If you're wondering what the heck daisy chaining means, basically you connect the two monitors with a display port cable, and then with a single cable, your laptop or computer is now connected to both monitors. The idea is to give you a clean, simple way to connect multiple monitors. I couldn't get this feature to work at first, and it drove me crazy. I literally tried everything. Turns out, it's not enabled out of the box. Like, why isn't it? Why? You need to go into the monitor settings and turn on this display port out toggle. If you're using Windows, daisy chaining works perfectly, but because macOS only supports daisy chaining over Thunderbolt and these monitors don't have Thunderbolt support, to get my MacBook to recognize each monitor separately, I needed to plug both monitors in via USB-C. The Ergo Duo only comes with one USB-C cable, so yeah, you'll have to buy another one or use one of your own. So technically, if you're on macOS, Daisy chaining isn't officially supported. You'll have to plug both monitors in separately. All right, so the Ergo Dual Monitor Bundle comes in at 799 US dollars. If you want dual monitors and could care less about the stand, there's much cheaper options out there. It really boils down to how much do you value the Ergo Dual Stand. I checked and LG doesn't seem to be selling the stand on its own. Not yet, at least. You're 100% paying extra for the versatility of the stand, and I guess also for the convenience of being able to buy the whole thing as a bundle versus going out and buying the pieces separately yourself, then potentially dealing with compatibility issues, which is never fun. As usual, thank you so much for watching, and to the next one, I'm out of here.